What would bile acid malabsorption look like on the results of the stool omics add-on? Let's take a look at a patient example. And the reason that I ran the stool omics on this patient was because they were having frequent urgent diarrhea that had a sticky quality to it where it would stick to the toilet bowl and not flush down. So what we see here is we're seeing two things happening. We're seeing some bile acid malabsorption through the primary bile acids being elevated. And then we are also seeing a problem with conversion of the primary bile acids into the secondary bile acids. You can see here that the secondary bile acids look quite low. So this is what a result looks like in someone with bile acid malabsorption and issues of conversion with primary bile acids to secondary bile acids. So when is a good time to run the stool omics add-on? A big reason to run it would be somebody with motility issues. So that could be fast motility and diarrhea or slow motility and constipation. I hope this example helps you to think about what bile acid malabsorption would look like on the stool omics add-on.